Hi, my name is Robin Greer. I work for Virginia's Department of Transportation. I'm responsible for multimodal planning and long-range planning in the Transportation and Mobility Planning Division. So realizing that we had limited funds for infrastructure, we came up with a program um, to try to do more with less using low-hanging fruit solutions. Um, came up with a program called STARS, the Strategically Targeted Affordable Roadway Solutions Program. So what we do is we use as much data as we can from our Traffic Engineering Division on Safety um, and from our Operations Division on Congestion and look at areas where there's an overlap of congestion and safety issues or concerns or bottlenecks and work with um, the locals and work with the local uh, Department of Transportation District Office to come up with solutions to overcome that particular problem. So we are, we're using NRIX data, the TTI data, we're using our safety data, we, all of our crashes on our FR300 reports and they're all geo-referenced. So you can basically just use the geo-reference tool and click on the particular report and find out what happened, what the fatality was, what the level of severity was for the crash. So it's Everything. very telling. So we'll pull together a multidisciplinary team that might include representatives from other agencies within the D or other divisions in the DOT, other agencies in the local area, the MPO, uh, local governments, and we'll come together in a meeting to make sure that we've identified the, the problem and then start talking about how we want to roll out methodologies to come up with solutions for that particular problem. And again, that, that program's called STARS. This year, we did that on an application-based program. We had 20 applications. We screened them down to nine geographically dispersed across the state based on the most demand and the most need to use those resources to come up with solutions. We've got nine studies underway right now. So um, it's gotten some notoriety within our agency and, and, and across the country, but within our agency, we've tied it to our agency business plan. So now we have business plan goals. So 50% of our recommendations have to be funded in our six-year improvement program, which you know is very competitive. So you can use anything from HSIP funds to CMAC funds, um, RSTP, um, and even our smart scale program that we have that's a transparent application-based program as well. Um, we're spending about $4 million in consultant services to help us with this. But we're hoping to get really the low-hanging fruit. We're not looking to buy any right-of-way. We're looking to stay within the existing right-of-way that we have in the corridor and come up with solutions like extending the acceleration or deceleration lane, um, maybe some restriping, maybe some variable message boards, any, anything that we can do that's kind of low cost that helps optimize the throughput through the corridor. They're pretty much on either the interstate or a, a primary arterial while I'm within an area. Mostly it's an overlap between congestion and safety. A lot of times when there's a need, whether it's a congestion need, the safety issues aren't going to be as high. It's going to be more fender benders. Um, so it is, if we could keep the traffic moving through the corridor more uh, effectively, then we would reduce the safety concerns. It's primarily through the districts. The districts work with, we have district planners that work directly with the locals in the area, whether it be a local government or an MPO or a PDC, and they work together to identify the, the problems.